Hello students, uh, myself Mehul Kodia from LG Institutes of Engineering and Technology. So in last session we start our new chapter that is Mathematical Representation of Solid and in last lecture we discuss about what is Geometry and what is Topology. Okay. So in today's session we have to discuss some method of Mathematical Representation of Solid. It's called Method of Solid Modeling. We have a number of methods for convert any of the 2D object into the 3D object. Clear? So we have to discuss some method of uh, solid modeling. Okay. So in solid modeling, uh, there is a number of methods is available. First one that is CST. Clear? Now you all uh, you have to uh, remember full form of CST that is constructive solid geometry. Okay, that is the first method of uh, solid modeling. Second one that is sweeping. Third one that is boundary representation. It is also called as a beta ray. Okay. Third one that is feature based modeling. Use feature based primitives to conduct a design. Third one that is primitive intensing. Use large number of primitives to build object. Use for programming NC machine tools. Okay. And next method that is cell decomposition. Next one that is spatial enumeration, octra encoding. All the method are method of solid modeling. We have to discuss each and every method in detail. Okay. So uh, in constructive solid geometry and boundary representation, it is, it is the most important method for convert any of the model from 2D to 3D or generate a 3D object. Okay. So in uh, first method we have to discuss today that is sweeping. Now what is sweeping? Sweeping can be carried out in two different forms. First one that is extrusion, second one that is revolving. Sweeping means if we have a cross section of any of the bodies and, and we, we uh, give one path and uh, that cross section uh, move on that path and generate one 3D object. It is the extrusion sweeping. And what is revolving? Revolving means if we have to generate any of the circular object. So we have to just draw one a cross section of that object and we have to give 360 degree rotation about some particular axis and we have to generate one 3D object it's called a revolving so first one that is extrusion now what is the meaning of extrusion that is to produce an object model from 2D cross section shape the direction of extrusion and a given depth we have to give direction of path and we have to give some value of the depth Advanced application include curve extrusion guide and very cross section. In advanced techniques, you can uh, change the uh, area of cross section. Clear? So that's why if you have generated any of the body, first you have to uh, cross section is, is large. After that, if you want to reduce that cross section, then after if you want to inc increase the area of cross section, that all thing is, uh, all features is available in extrusion. Okay, next one that is revolving means how to use sweeping feature using revolving to produce a rota rotation parts either in solid or in cell shape. Cell means hollow shape. Revolving a 2D cross section that is specified by closed curve around the axis of symmetry for model of an axially symmetric object. Means once you generate any of the object using revolving at that time that object is generated symmetric object. Means See, um, in both side of the axis, object still is same. Okay, so that is the sweeping. Now we have to understand sweeping using some example. Okay, so what is the? Uh, this is the example of sweeping. Sweeping is most convenient for solid with translational or rotational symmetries. Now there is a sweeping in a two part, divided in two parts. First one that is translation means you have to give one path using straight line or curved line. And second one that is rotational symmetry means surface of revolution that already we discussed in last session. Also has to be capable to guarantee close object. Means once you use rotational sweeping at that time that object must be a close object. Okay. This is the two example of uh, sweeping. First one that is linear sweeping. In linear sweeping we have to just draw one rectangle and in that rectangle we give some path. And that rectangle move that path and generate one object like this. This is the first figure is a linear sweeping. And second figure, in second figure we generate a one curve type. Clear? That is the rotational sweeping. In rotational sweeping we have to draw 
simple cross sectional uh, 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 view and you have to rotate about uh, of that cross sectional view about center axis and generate this type of curve clear yes, this is the example of linear slipping and rotational slipping so this is the first method of solid modeling so in first method we use sweeping for the generate for any of the model from 2d to 3d now second one that is primitive intensity in primitive intensity we have to uh, combine number of parts means parts into group into family means you know, we have to combine number of groups and generate one family of parts which of primitive intensity clear in primitive intensity we have to combine more than two object more than number of object clear this scheme is based on the uh, notion of family of object each member of family distinguishable from the other by few parameters each object family called a generic primitives and individual object within a family are called primitive intense clear in next slide we understand primitive intensity we will be using some example next for example a family of bolt is generic primitives and a single bolt specify, specified by a particular set of parameter is a primitive intensity clear means in the generic primitive we have a number of bolt but in individual primitive we have just one bolt with some specification okay the distinguishing characteristic of pure parameter intensing scheme is the lack of means for combining intense to create new structure which represent new and more complex object primitive intensing is used for the uh, generating a complex object okay so this is the example of primitive intensing in first figure in the, this is the example of primitive intense means we have just one bolt with nuts and second one that is generic primitive means we have number of bolt with number of nuts clear with various size this is the two example of primitive intensity and generic primitive okay so this is the primitive intensity second one that is cell decomposition now what is the meaning of cell decomposition in cell decomposition now we have to join two cube clear using either union method or uh, uh, union and now you all know what is the union method union method means we have to combine two object or addition of these two object okay so in cell decomposition there is a set of primitive cells now in cell decomposition we have a set of primitive cells there is a uh, and also curve means so we have any of the object and that object set of primitive cells number of curves differ from intensive primitives by editing and composition of more complex <coughs> object from other already established means we have two object already established after that we have to combine these two object at that time we have to use cell decomposition in cell decomposition we have to use gluing operation that you that is means of gluing operation it is the union of cell that do not intersect union means what we have to combine two object and that two object cannot be intersect means that two, uh, that two object combined with the faces okay that is the gluing operation now we have to understand cell decomposition using some example so this is the example of cell decomposition and in cell the example of cell decomposition we have two object first one that is one type of prism second one that is one type of cube now we have to combine these two object now we have to combine now in below figure you can easily understand that there is a we have we combine these two objects in uh, using various method clear so first we combine uh, prism and cube in the first figure that is we put prism below the uh, cubes clear and after that we uh, divide this cube in two parts uh, you can uh, show in this second figure and combine the prism and cube so this is the example of this cell decomposition so that is a various method available uh, for converting any of the body in 2D to 3D object but before that you have to understand that some basic phenomena of the uh, manufacturing for the generating any of the 3D model this all thing we can done in the SOLIDWORKS software that SOLIDWORKS is a one type of modeling software in modeling software there is a three types drawing, 3D modeling means part or part or modeling and what is assembly so this all thing we have to cover in the part modeling clear part modeling means we have to generate any of the 3d object in that part modeling 
So uh, now next method is the uh, extrusion method. Now you all know what is the ext uh, extrude and what is the subtract. Clear? There all features available in the modeling software. In modeling software, one feature option is there. In feature option, option lots of method is there like extrude, subtract, surface of revolution, drafting, uh, generate a hall, all these are number of features available. So uh, we have to discuss each and every method to generate any of the object in 3D. Means in 3D object you have to give some uh, uh, dimension. Now we have one method also that is CSG, CSG and boundary resolution. In CSG method already we have available some 3D object like prism, like ball, sphere. You have to just give some input data and uh, you uh, ready made available that is the 3D object, ready made available. Like, if you want to generate one sphere at that time, you have to just give the radius. If you give radius 5 mm at that time, the software automatically generate one sphere with radius 5. Clear? So that is the all these things available in the modeling software. Okay. So uh, this all method we have to discuss. Uh, okay. So uh, we have total 6 to 7 method and each and every method is most important. Clear. So this is the cell decomposition. In today's session, we discuss two method, three method total. First method that is sweeping. In sweeping, we discuss linear sweeping and rotational sweeping. Second method we discuss that primitive intensing. In primitive intensing, that means we have a, a two two types of primitive intensing. First one is generic primitive. Second one that is intense primitive. Clear. It is the depend on the quantity of the object. And third method that we discuss that is example of cell decomposition. Okay, in cell decomposition we have to use viewing operation and combining of the two matrix. In next session we discuss about CSG. CSG also known as a C-Rep. So in next session we discuss about constructive solid geometry. Okay.